Hey folks, are you ready to lose faith in humanity together? Let's do it. So, uh, Palm Beach in Florida, they passed a new rule mandating everyone wear face masks because they have been proven to be highly effective at stopping the spread of COVID-19. So if you choose not to wear a mask, it's not like you're just taking your chances and you're exposing yourself. No, you are potentially exposing others because the masks stop you from spreading your germs to other people. So they passed this mandate and um, the Karens rebelled and they rebelled in a way that Honestly, I wasn't even expecting for Karens because I'm losing faith in the Karens of the world, but I at least thought that they would do better than what we're about to see. And this picture still cracks me up. But watch what they said in response to this new rule. This was bonkers. And <laughs> as a species, like as a human being, I am genuinely disappointed in us. You literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up and we know what citizen's arrest is because citizen's arrests are already happening, okay? And every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. And you, doctor, are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity. The problem with humanity today is ignorance, arrogance, and apathy. Keep taking the road of least resistance. Keep listening to the TV brainwashing you from birth. And they want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. You're all turning your backs on it. Doctor, I really have many question marks about your degrees and what you really know. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I don't think that you are worthy of your credentials. And I would ask suggestively that you go back to school and get educated. I'm laughing because if I don't laugh at this, if I don't like try to not take it seriously, then I'm going to cry. Like, this is why the aliens, if they've noticed us, aren't visiting us because they realize that we're just not ready yet. <laughs> the things that they said. Why? What would possess you to think something like this? The first lady said, you literally cannot mandate people to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. What? What evidence do you have that masks are killing people? If anything, wearing a mask is saving lives. In fact, literally they are saving lives. If everyone wore a mask in America, we would be able to be more effective at stopping the spread of COVID-19. So in what world do you believe that wearing a mask is going to pose a risk to your health so severe that it will literally kill you. Like, this doesn't make sense. Where are you getting this from? And, you know, this comes along with knowledge that I just found out about. And I don't know why I'm so late to the party on this, but I watched a mini documentary from Vice where they talked about people that believe that 5G towers are spreading COVID-19 because they emit radiation. And the same symptoms from radiation poisoning are what we see, you know, with people who have COVID-19. I mean, people... Why are you so conspiratorial about everything? Listen, if you're going to believe in a conspiracy theory about masks, about 5G, the underlying question that you always have to ask is why? What's the motivation? What motivation do the companies putting up 5G towers have to cause a pandemic that slows down the entire economy? This is antithetical to what the business world wants. I mean, I just, people have no logic. And once you really latch on to something, some belief, then you defend it with everything that you have. This is just, you know, what human beings do. But I mean, if you're going to latch on to something, at least latch on to something more sensible. Uh, the same lady said, every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. Where in the Bible does it say anything about masks and the devil? If the devil is saying we should wear masks, then the, the devil is correct here. But I don't think anyone is saying anything. This is not a religious issue. I mean, it's, it's a pandemic. Just wear a fucking mask. It's not that big of a deal. I don't like wearing masks. I think they are uncomfortable. They're hot. They are, you know, they make it relatively difficult to breathe. But you wear them because you don't want to be a dickhead. You don't want to spread COVID-19 if you're asymptomatic. And maybe, you know, like these Karens, you think, I'm definitely not asymptomatic. I know it. Well, I'm sure that other people who are asymptomatic said the same thing. We don't know. Just wear it. I mean, it's not that big of a fucking deal. And the worst one, the worst here is... And that they want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. 
by wearing a mask, you're not changing God's wonderful breathing system. And if you believe in God, then, I mean, wouldn't you at least expect God to be intelligent enough to give us two different holes, you know, not the same hole for breathing and eating? Doesn't that seem like a shitty design if we're thinking about intelligent design? I mean, these people are just loony. Um, and, you know, if this was just an isolated incident of these weird unhinged Karens having these weird conspiratorial religious beliefs about masks, that would be one thing. But I watch this and I think to myself, how much of the population kind of believes this sort of thing? If not that identical belief, how much of them believe something resembling this? And I don't know if this is satire, but I even saw images online that masks are a gateway to Sharia law in the United States. Because think about it, guys, it makes sense. Because first, they're asking you to cover your faces. Next, they're going to ask you to cover your hair and wear a hijab. And after that comes the niqab, where you're covering everything but your eyes. I mean, this is what people... Are worried about masks not the pandemic itself not the actual virus that killed 120,000 americans it's the masks that they're more concerned with like i i don't know what to say about this i watch this and i can't help but feel just hopeless feel as if human beings just aren't up to the task to solve the issues of the modern era you know this pandemic climate change um nuclear uh, denuclearization we're just not up to the task because these are the things that we're worried about this is i think maybe an average level of intelligence that we're seeing from americans i mean i, I hope that this is like not representative of a lot of people but i mean just looking at what i've seen from my own facebook feed from people in my social circles who i thought were more intelligent i see this level of batshit insane theories about COVID-19 and how it's a crackdown on liberty to require us to wear masks. No, every single governor should be mandating masks, not because they're pleasant to wear. We don't like wearing masks. Nobody does. But because they stop the spread of this highly contagious, deadly pandemic. Now, for those of you who missed the other video um, that we put up, I put together a little quick compilation of Karen's complaining about masks, and this includes an old man literally trying to fight his way into a Walmart when they tell him he can't enter the store if he doesn't put on a mask. Uh, he tried to fight his way in, physically assaulted a Walmart employee. As a former uh, Walmart employee myself, I mean, I'm so glad that I am no longer working at Walmart and dealing with this bullshit. Nonetheless, watch this compilation. Can't let you in the store without a mask. Okay, so where's the regulations that state that? The regulations? Yeah. Because you're discriminating against me now, do you know that? Bro, you gotta wear a mask, bro. I'll just put you on my 3,000 follower Instagram feed. Mostly local. Hi, everyone. I work for Costco and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask. And or... I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. Like, that's all I want to do is cry because you can't see people's faces. You can't make human connection. Absolutely insane. So it's, we don't even have a choice anymore. So they're literally calling the police on me because I am not putting this mask on. Why aren't you wearing the mask? Uh, it's unhealthy for me. I don't want to breathe my own CO2. <sighs> and let's not forget about this lady. Cutting a hole in the mask because it makes it easier to breathe, therefore defeating the entire purpose of the mask. Look, part of what makes this worse is that masks have kind of become a partisan issue to where if you are wearing it, you're almost making a sort of political statement. Like I was reading a thread on Reddit and I can't remember, you know, you know, which subreddit this was featured on, but one person who was a bartender was talking about how she, you know, her, her bar had reopened, her state reopened, and she was wearing a mask, and one of the attendees were harassing her, calling her a libtard because she was wearing a mask. And a lot of these other Karen videos that we're seeing, you know, you see them make these comments. Like, there was one video that I didn't include in that compilation where a lady talks about how she can't wear a mask because she has a medical condition. Um, and then when she leaves the store, you know, she stops talking about the medical condition and calls them libtards. You see, you know, the uh, Trump... Uh, the MAGA chat, I can't remember his name, he's part of the walk away grift, but he was kicked off a plane because he wouldn't wear a mask. Like, not only are people reacting to this in unhinged ways, bringing in religiosity, um, both for, you know, in terms of like, this is against God, and it's an attempt to impose Sharia, but 
they're making this a political issue when this this is it's simpler than that it's just something that we wear to stop the spread of a pandemic why can't it be that simple why does it have to be some sort of nefarious agenda if you are you know predispositioned to really be captivated by or believe conspiracy theories there's a lot more conspiracies in the world that are actually real and they don't have anything to do with this mask this mask thing that is really important that we all wear so i mean i'm just i'm tired um emotionally mentally watching all of the karens react in this way to masks just wear the motherfucking mask it's it's a temporary thing it's not permanent, and you're only extending the period of this COVID-19 era by not following all of the proper precautions. Wear a mask. They work. Calm down, Karen. Please. Jesus Christ.